Oh wow, I'm touching some cables, which is yeah. probably not a good idea, I'm not sure. I hope I'm not making a mess here. <laughs> oh. Advancements in technology are positively impacting medicine. Today we are here at ITM, a leading radio pharmaceutical company, and we're having a look at their production line. So Stefan, can you tell us a little bit about ITM? ITM is a radio pharmaceutical company. What does this mean? We fight cancer. And how do we do this? We are using targeting molecules, which you know, make the way to the cancer cell, make a strong binding with the cancer cell, and the outcome for the patients is great. Our goal is to make patients live longer with a better quality of life. This is the room where we receive our raw material that we get back after it's been irradiated either by a research reactor or by a nuclear power plant. And if you look at this and you can hold it, it's not active. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> this is, you know, how the raw material looks. This is enough for like 100 patient doses, what is in here. I know it's not active, but I'd rather give it back to you. <laughs> Thank you very much. And what about these arms here? I mean, what, what, what do you use them for? We have to deal with these manipulators in order not to touch the material with our hands. But you can, you can try it out and you can use them. Oh, wow. Yeah, I'm touching some cables, which is yeah. probably not a good idea. I'm not sure. I hope I'm not making a mess here. <laughs> oh, it's very cool. <laughs> So Stefan, what is behind this window? So what you see here, Dick, is our purification line. We take the raw material and then we open the ampule and then there are several steps of chromatographic cleaning and then at the end we have the pure product. So this is heavy material, you can see it's a lead pot and you can carry it. Oh, very heavy, yeah? Yeah, and this is again the glass wire with the lutetium and it comes in here. So it protects the product and the outside world, I guess. Yes. Sir. Here you see the robotic arm grabbing the lead pot and then it puts the label on and the next step is the lift will transport it automatically to the packaging. So from here to the patients, how long will that take? So basically a few hours from here to the plane and then on the way to the patients. And the reason for you know, doing this so quickly is this product has a half-life of 6.7 days. So you can imagine how quick it has to be the patient side. So from here, from the outskirts of Munich, where does this product go? All over the world. Thank you so much for taking me through this cycle here, Stefan. But what does the future hold for ITM? Well, you know, let, let me tell you a little story. You know, the, the, a friend of mine, you know, his father had prostate cancer. It was almost 10 years ago. And she asked me if I, I could help and I could call someone who could help. And he treated him with a lutetium drug for prostate cancer. And he had five wonderful years, despite the fact that he had 42 big lesions, bone metastases and also tissue metastases. And this is really what touches me. And I want to drive the company into making as many good cancer drugs uh, as possible. Well, this is probably the best company purpose that anyone can have. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you.